What's up, all you Facebook fans out there? How's it going, man? Hope you guys are having a great day wherever you at. And my sons, Michael and Daniel, taking a chill break. Time for lunch. Been unloading uh, thousands and millions and zillions of pounds of concrete from the van. All the way down 36 stairs. All up there. Da -da 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 -dum -da -dum. All the way down here. It's so much fun. Anyway, we got our scaffold put in. There's a progress video uh, showing you what has been done. We got our base steel set up for the grotto in there. And it is already epoxied in. We started shaping things out a little bit. And we've been demoing off the fascia stone that was put on there. Super, super hard. Uh, sort of a quartzite or something. I mean, it's as hard as ever. I uh, had to use my big-ass jackhammer to get that down and uh, off that. And just darn near killed me. So we got a little more we have to do. We have to jackhammer off these spaces here. Because all these stones are going to be removed by the pool company. We're just kind of helping the process by demoing some of it. And then they're going to put some ledger stone on all these faces between our full rock stones, which we are aiming to mimic or match the real thing right there. We got a lot of cool lichen growth on there and stuff like that. And uh, just really, really an amazing, uh, amazing location for some cool stuff. But back up here, you can see the slide trough where it's going to be coming in right down between the bird of paradise and those boulders. It's coming up above there to the right. Where's my arm? There it is. And it's going to come around that boulder and then shoot on down straight down here, which is going to be pretty darn cool, man. So waving at you, waving at you. How's it going? And uh, so we have to finish out the shape of the grotto here. And uh, then once we get that done, we'll put the pegboard in to give it that thickness we want. The pegboard, we're going to cut and break and snap that piece, those pieces to get them to fit on the flatter areas of this grotto wall. Gonna put a window in the back here. Uh, so you can kinda reach in, say hi, hand someone a Coke or whatever. But we're now looking down inside the grotto space. Gonna have a bench on that side and maybe a bench on this side too, so you can hang out, which will be awesome possum. There's gonna be a waterfall that'll start somewhere up in this space right here. Fall off and then transition on out over the weir where that orange is. We've uh, designate that as the level of <clears throat> the, the uh, top of the weir approximately <coughs> and so <clears throat> now that my voice starts to disintegrate <clears throat> um, and so the waterfall is going to be sort of going that way and dumping in the pool which will be cool we moved our bird of paradise right here and hoping that it will survive the transplant we got one we left because it's right on the edge of where the slide would be Slide trough's going to be right here going zoom right into the pool. So that'll be really, really fun in the sun. This whole old slide, it was a tile slide. We're going to create a waterfall there. We're going to have stones and make the brook, the babbling brook thing kind of go on back and forth and then dump into the pool. Uh, <clears throat> that's going to begin up here where those big boulders are. And I'll cruise up there and check those out. And I uh, <clears throat> can't believe my voice is all getting gooby. Um, so we filled up these rebar shapes and we used all the rock that we jackhammered off these walls. Instead of having to haul them out of here with all their weight, that's thousands of pounds worth, I think. Just fill them up in the rocks and they become one with the rock. So the waterfall is going to be right above that bucket right there. You can kind of barely see right there and dump into the, into this area. Go boom, boom, bounce down into this little pond and then transition to the right if you're looking towards the pool. And then into the stream bed that, again, we're going to create out of the old slide trough. So we've been working on the, the slide, trying to get it established. And I'm finding i got a challenge to keep the, the pitch adequate to keep the rider moving because it kind of flattens out a little bit here. So um, I'll walk up here and you can get an idea of what we're talking about. <clears throat> so the ride starts up there on the top. And then it comes down this way, and then it's going to make a turn this way and turn around and go down that way. But it has to make it over this little little bump right here. And then there's a huge boulder right down there that I think I might need to mess with. Might need to try and saw cut it and jackhammer it out of there a little bit to get some to get the pitch right. Not sure if I can keep this high enough up here. Might have to redo some of these these bottom ribs of the slide. To get the to get the height a little more, so that corner it can make that corner, and then transition all the way down 
and down into the pool. You can kind of see where the slide's going to go. Starts up here, comes on down around the bend right here, and voila, into the pool. It's going to be really cool because these plants are going to grow over and make a tunnel at some point. They kind of were a tunnel before they did a lot of the plant removal and trimming back. Um, <clears throat> so we got a killer oak tree right here. Big bad boy. has been here probably 100 years, man. This thing is amazing. And uh, and so we're now we're up on the top area of the deck. You kind of see where the slide has been roughed out in steel. And we're going to be, you know, letting the rider go down this way and then whip around that turn and fly around those those two boulders and then head towards the pool. I think there'll be enough inertia and enough energy there to keep them going. I hope so. <laughs> Wouldn't want them to stop and just sit there. That would be bad. Uh, what's up, Joshua? Waving back at you. <clears throat> um, you guys are out there wondering how you do this stuff you pretty much just need to give it give it a go and start somewhere but you want to look at the real thing you can see the real rocks we have right around us those are the real deal those are the ones that god makes god makes the best rocks so you want to notice their shapes their angles their texture see these there's no there really is not that many right angles perfect right angles you also don't tend to see things perfectly flat horizontal or perfectly vertical there's always a, a lean to it if you will um, not always but a vast majority of them are leaning one way or another and that gives you a more natural look so look at the real thing and yet that's going to be giving you the kind of thing that you want what does god make that's what we're trying to make we want to make rocks that nobody can tell are fake fake rocks that look fake is a bummer that just makes people think that fake rocks are fake you know and uh <coughs> We don't want that. We want artificial stone or faux rock to be so good and so well built and so nicely uh, textured and colored that you cannot tell the difference. A lot of guys out there can do great rock work that's just amazing. Warren Ness, Joshua, uh, Annis, I think his name is, Studio 25. A lot of guys out there doing amazing stuff. Um, forgetting a lot of people, but uh, always try to, to get... Uh, get the real thing and use that as a guide when you're making this thing. Um, we've got our staging area for some of the concrete work. We don't want to drag all these bags of sand down these 36 steps if we can avoid it. So we're doing sort of a staging area up here on the top of the deck and then just carrying our stuff all the way down to where it needs to go. Uh, we may end up setting up a mixing station there down there now that I think of it when we're doing some of the pylon work down there that we're going to be doing for the uh, grotto. <clears throat> so, uh, Facebook Live, Mr. Dave here on the rock pile, and uh, just continuing the process of construction and trying to uh, move the job down the line, um, and uh, it's uh, exciting. There's always challenges with these jobs, things that you didn't expect kind of show up, and you have to adapt and adjust, but that's what makes it fun and, uh, and interesting and creative. And so whenever you can, you know, get out there and push yourself a little farther than you went the day before. Every day I like to do something that's hard and I like to do something that's fun. Every day do something that's hard, do something that's fun. Do those two things every day and you're going to be living a life that's pretty chill and pretty awesome. And is blessing people and staying cur instead of cursing them, you know. Make people smile instead of frown or get mad if you can help it. Anyway. Mr. Dave here on the Rock Pile, uh, working our way down this job, continuing the process live here on Facebook. And I hope you are alive out there having fun. So be kind to one another, uh, be forgiving, uh, especially people that didn't vote the way you want. <laughs> and uh, we're all in this together, really, here in our here in our great world of ours, and especially in our America and everything. So you know, we want to be we want to be good. We want this thing to keep on going another 250 years or whatever it is. So. Uh, also be gra grateful. Think about what you got, not what you don't got. Um, it's really easy just to grumble about what's going on and what's the problems are and why, 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 you know, you need a ambulance. Yeah, we all need ambulances sometimes, but, uh, we really are blessed, man. America's awesome. Um, and we should be grateful. And, uh, so anyways, there's my preaching. So I hope you're having a great day. God bless you guys. Keep watching uh, my stuff. If you do want to find out how we do this more specifically, you can go to triple W dave henderson.podia.com 
davehenderson.podia.com. Free PDF downloads down there. And if you want to learn a little bit uh, from my blogs and stuff, written some stuff on how to make a waterfall, how to build a pool, that kind of thing, I go to davehenderson.com and uh, click the, uh, the blog tab. And you can also learn about on the job training. This job right here, if you're out here in the San Diego area, you want to come out here and really just check it out, get your hands dirty, be on an actual job, learn what it's about, you can definitely do that. So give me an email or a message and let me know. Um, and so there, I think I've done my commercial. All right. So anyways, the flies are driving me crazy. Have a great day and we will see you next time. All right. Mr. Dave checking out. Bye.